Welcome back again folks, this is Anthony Valentini Campanerd. I'll be showing you around this 1997 Auto Sleeper Legend, one of the most desirable auto sleepers to come out of their factory, these don't last long folks, especially in this condition, so it's a 1997, she's covered just over 60,000 miles, 2.5 turbo diesel, I drove this back myself, uh, just shy of 250 miles, absolutely Beautiful. I can't rave about this vehicle enough. There's not a rattle, shake, everything is just a nice slick gearbox selection, power steering. It's had five owners and the last two owners have had it 14 years. So the last owner's had it seven years and the previous lady had it seven years. So two owners in the last 14 years. I can see why people hold on to these. Of course it's the famous monocoque one-piece fiberglass body shell. It's the legend so it's got the lovely desirable u-shaped lounge i'll show you that shortly uh, it's got the pull out manual step for the leisure door <coughs> on this side we have the uh, cupboard for the gas bottle this side and that i'm going on holiday shortly so i'm going to get this checked over in the workshop while i'm away we'll have a gas bottle put in there and all the workings inside will be checked out if anything's not quite right it'll be attended to on the bike on the back rather we've got jumping ahead of myself there saying bike we've got the two fiorma bike rack ladders to the roof large area you put anything under there large cupboard small space wellington boots fishing rods anything you don't want in the habitation area it's a nice feature to have electric hookup, fresh water, the carbon cascade flue for the exhaust valve or the exhaust fumes rather for heating the hot water on gas. Uh, we've got the Fetford cassette toilet, that's all been sanitised. I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the front. It's really solid this, 1997, 23 years young. It's lovely. I've had a quick look underneath inspection of it. I'm very happy to put my name to this. Just been recently MOT'd, I say the previous owner. I think there was three or four advisories. Uh, I never send an auto sleeper out with advisories. So I'm getting that put into the workshop. So it'll have a new MOT and any advisories that are picked up separately or the current advisories will be fixed. Let's quick look under the bonnet. Uh, Transit, a very good solid chassis. They last for years these. Uh, what we call in the trade the smiley front mark 5 smiley front really good engine engineering engine and gearbox but they did suffer from front wing corrosion so a lot of these have corrosion on front wings but this one has had both the wings replaced in the last couple of years i'll show you that shortly with the bonnet and all good tyres let's have a look under the bonnet indestructible 2.5 di turbo diesel so I've just done 250 miles in this, not a rattle shake vibration, it's just as it came out of the factory, it just drives lovely. So I don't know whether you can see on the camera here, but we've got two seals here and a seal there, and both of those front wings have been replaced, same on the other side, on the passenger side. That's the leisure battery by the way folks, and that's the engine battery on the driver's side. Yeah, it'll stand up to a sensible inspection this. I had one of these a couple of weeks ago and the phone never stopped and there was a waiting list so here you are here's the next one in line right okay without further ado i think it's time to show off the inside let's get inside out so let's get in and out in the wind so towards the front of this lovely auto sleeper legend Got the side front kitchen, the usual auto sleeper wooden cupboards, the front cab area. You got the passenger captain swivel seat. So it's the five-speed manual CD player. It's actually got heated seats. This I've not checked those out. It's one thing I didn't check out on my uh, long journey back, but it drove absolutely fantastic. 
I used to have a fleet of these 30 years ago when I had a company called Valentine Van Hire. And these engines were renowned for being thoroughly indestructible. 66,000 miles, don't know whether the camera's going to pick that up. Power steering, electric windows. And that's about it. What we call Freddy Flintstone mechanics in the trade. Not much to go wrong on these old girls, but they do the job. This is the turbo diesel. Cruise all day long, 65, 70, no problem whatsoever. So we'll have a quick sneak peek and pan round to the rear. That's what it's all about. That desirable U-shaped lounge. What a panoramic view you get from any angle. And obviously you've got the three side sofas so you could put your feet up in any direction. And very easy to put the bed out, just one lever here, one lever there, put these together, the rear cushions flop into place, and you've got a very large, well, the largest motorhome queen size bed that you could have. And you go out for the evening, just put those together, set that up, and that's your bed for the night. I know a lot of people leave these in a permanent bed setup, as it were. So we'll just span round again, just have a quick look at the paperwork first. Um, so I think she's had six owners in its 23 year history. We've got some quite good service history going all the way back 2000, 2001, etc. All the way through 04, 05, 06, 07. Cam belt replaced in 2013. Incidentally, these. If a cam belt snaps on this engine, it doesn't ruin the engine. So it'll just stop, but it won't ruin the engine. Uh, 62,015, and she's on 66,000 now. So I'll carry out a service. Uh, last owner has had it seven years. And the previous, I thought it was a lady, it wasn't. It was William, and he has had it from 2006. So just the two owners in the last... Oh, 14 years. Lots of paperwork, the Ford manuals, all the auto sleeper original manuals, all the service engineer manuals. The upholstery, just fantastic. It's only auto sleeper seem to be able to make their upholstery that good. So we've got the kitchen area's lovely condition. Four burner gas stove, grill area. Oven. Incidentally, I have changed all the buttons and bezels, which I'm famous for. Only 22 of them, I think I counted. Me being a nerd. All being replaced. Shower one, wardrobe, all the cupboards at the top. Let's do the job properly. I do like presenting an auto sleeper nice. So where are we up to? Kitchen area. So we've got the sink, drainer board, under sink storage, more storage. Thanks for your knives and forks. We've got the carver heater, gas heater. We've got the Electrolux three-way fridge. So we've got mains, 12 volt driving, in gas. I'm just about to leave on my holidays tomorrow for a couple of weeks so I'm closing down for a couple of weeks but you can access me on the phone via WhatsApp, email or text. I'm quite happy to take a deposit and um, this vehicle will be ready on my return so I could deliver it anywhere in the United Kingdom in about three weeks so mid-October onwards but deposits can be accepted. Look at that footwork. 23 years old. Typical auto sleeper, hand built in Gloucester, still going strong at the same factory. All the blinds, just lovely and operational. It's all the little things that matter on an auto sleeper. The original matching curtains all the way through, the matching scatter cushions. Large, oh, what have we got there? This plot is in use by a reservation. 
another large drawer. More under seat storage. Look at the woodwork and the finishing on that. 23 years old and everything is just operational. Nice little cabinet here. And across the all important wine cabinet. And yes, I have changed all the knobs. Space up there for your glasses and flutes and for your wine bottles. So we've got a big control panel here. So we've got mains electricity, 12 volt electricity, aerial point, carver gas, so that's heating the hot water on gas. And the um, the fan master, so that blows the heating throughout the vehicle, as well as the shower room. That's your control panel. So we've got two tables, so you have a very small, well I'm saying a very small, it's not that small, but we've got a table here fitted neatly behind the driver's seat. That will go on a pole there and then that can be fitted on the floor in any of the two positions at the back. So if you want a table at the back or the front, or you can get a, a tripod to use that outside. And also, we pop into the wardrobe area. It's got a large three standing table, so you can use that at the back if you want a large table or of course outside for old fresco dining. So you've got the mains, hot water on electricity, you've got the mains fuse box. Ah, looks like it's got a, a solar panel, that's nice. We've got the booster for the 12 volt aerial, extra isolator switches, shut off valves for the gas system, aerial adjustment there. Yeah, just on the roof, the typical bone dry, not a mark on it, one piece fiberglass body shell, nothing to worry about. Let's span round and have a quick look in the shower room. Again, perfect condition. Yeah, I think it will stand up to a fussy inspection. Shower, mirror, tray. Fall down. Basin, hot and cold water. Swiveled Thetford cassette toilet. All been sanitised. Spotless. And the shower tray. Look at that, 23 years old. Perfect, not a cracker mark on it. Above the cab, we've got storage space. We'll clip that into place there. So you've got some foil covers. I think there's a, a an outside floor mat. Perhaps that's for use in the awning. You've got ladders. I know some people who have a small child and they use this space here with a ladder. More cupboards. You could tour Europe with the amount of cupboard space that they provide. Again, all these have been changed. Light above the kitchen area. I think she's got a fan, yes. Extractor fan. Linets, as well as blackout blinds. So this smaller table, incidentally, that can be fitted here. So it just goes into that runner and that runner, and it just creates more worktop space for the kitchen area. So that's the small table behind the driver's seat. All the carpet seems to be nice. Yeah, there's no rips or tears. A couple of little marks being fussy. I think that's the worst one there, I'm sure. In fact, that's just a stone. It's that nice. Yeah, it just wants a quick wipe in the carpet, but we are being fussy and pedantic for the age. Okay. So just to recap, this is a 1997 Auto Sleeper Legend, one of the most desirable auto sleepers to come out of the factory. It's got the Orna, Fiona F45 awning on it, outside light, ladders, roof bars at the top, with that one piece fiberglass body shell. My name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom free of charge 
to show and demonstrate to you. All I ask if you're happy to pay for it and give me a lift to the nearest train station. I can't be any further than that. You can catch me on 0798 526 1078. So I'm going away on holiday tomorrow for a couple of weeks, so I'll be out of the country. So if you can't access or contact me straight away by phone, feel free for text or WhatsApp and I'll contact you as soon as I can. I'm happy to take a deposit, reserve it in your name, and then I can conduct a delivery or you can collect it from here in Skaysbrick on my return, but that will be middle of the October. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you on that next video in a couple of weeks after my holidays.